Hello everyone, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James, thank you for joining me for what is a separate rates and CG video on the Yas 39 grip and a lot of times when we're out at the field um, it's just too hot or we don't have the right setup we just figured going forward we're probably just going to do separate videos for this type of type of stuff so it's easier for you guys to find the information and uh, this video will always be linked to any flight or assembly videos we have and vice versa in the description of this video you'll have all the information you need about the Gripen as far as assemblies flights builds and etc so again for this video we're going to talk rates first and again this video is not both rates and CG this is not the Bible um, as far as rates and CG goes it's gonna come down to how you feel this is just how we feel me and Justin Lamb who got to fly both this Gripen and the one behind me which is the uh, thrust factoring one um, these were the rates that we use so we think they're a great starting point for you um, when you do your maidens upon takeoff and then you take it from there with whatever rates you got so let's get started with the rates as you can see right now I have everything on what I was using as my high rate in both the pitch and in the roll so you can see uh, right here and my high rates are set up based on what the book low rates are so the book low rates as far as the canard is 27 millimeters uh, in your max throw and the aileron or the elevons would be 17 millimeters um, the high rate per the book is 35 and 24 which is you know going to be an extremely higher throw than what we have here but um again this is what i went with i thought with an elevon setup i was thinking the mirage was the last elevon jet that i had uh played with and you know that one could be a drill bit but when we flew it on these rates she had plenty of authority in the roll more than enough in the pitch to do what we wanted and we just left it like that um so i think it's again a good starting point for you so again what do we have i'm at now on my low rate on my high rate which is the book low rate again that's 100 percent. now let's start with the pitch but i also added my low rate uh as far as my transmitter goes was 90 percent of that so you can see it was a very small change that's 100 percent that's 90 percent so it's again 90 percent of the book low rates is where i really was comfortable flying this jet uh for the most part but it's such a small change that i don't think anyone uh you know is gonna notice that but i just felt more comfortable this was uh in essence my mid rate i didn't go lower i had set a lower rate but i never even bothered because this felt so comfortable now when i move into the left roll um you can see right now i'm at my high rate on the roll or i'll move it to a right roll actually makes it a little easier to see the canard now when i go to my mid rate which is what i was flying on so this is 100 this is my mid i used 80 percent um of the hundred percent and again the hundred percent is based off the book lows so i know that could be a little confusing um if you've never flown a jet like that or you're confused um about rates we could end up making a whole video about how to set up rates but the rates that are recommended in the book um are always just a guide they are not a bible it's going to come down to how you feel as a pilot you should by this time if you're graduating to like a Gripen, a Yas 39 Gripen, we believe you will have flown other types of jets and have an idea of what you want to do for rates so again this is 80 percent this is 100 percent 80 percent 100 percent of the rates so again that's what we went off of and any questions you have please leave them in the comments as far as rate goes but now i say let's get into the cg and we're going to do the first on the non-thrust vector gripping but then we're going to show you the cg on the vector thrust gripping because the uh, vector thrust unit does add a little bit of weight on the uh, aft portion of your model so let's do the cg all right so part two of this video is cg on the non-thrust vectored yas 39 gripen and we'll start with uh the 4000 admiral pro this was uh the pack that uh we liked i guess the most overall in the gripen because it was a little lighter um a little easier to get to the cg or whatnot but this is what we ended up flying mostly on so that's where we'll start now as you can see in the canopy you have plenty of space um to fit your your uh your packs and one thing i love about the gripping guys if you don't already know this but when i turn it upside down you can see we have molded cg marks on the wings so this makes it so easy to uh cg your model when you're at the field in a pinch they did that on the mig 29 they did it on the al37 uh they're doing it on a lot of the free wing models and i hope it's something that should stick around on all new models going forward but either way as far as the 4000 goes you can see we had marked off some lines uh, in there so I had the blue line was about where I had my uh, my 5,000 pack 
and the 4000 was at the darker colored uh, line. I had a little grass in there, sorry. But what we're gonna do, I'm gonna slide this in, and what I did with with this one was I had it on its on its fat side, as you can see. So the, the widest side going down, and then I just pressed it, pressed it back a bit to the point, you know, where the strap, there we go. The strap is gonna be right at the front of the battery, and this is something you'd want under the battery. We're not gonna worry about that for the sake of this. We just wanna get it in there so it doesn't move. Fishing, and let's plug it in. I, mean, I probably don't even need to plug it in, but we will just for dexterity. There we go. So that's in, canopy on, and now you can see G this with the, uh, with the gear down. This is how we always did it. And now you're just gonna use your fingers, guys. This is what, you know, I saw someone in, in a comment section said, you know, there are pro CG machines and such, but for the most part, I know a lot of pros out there who just use their fingertips and that's what they uh, like to use. So I'm gonna find the CG marks. I use my middle finger and when I pick it up, you can see I am, I am balanced. So that is basically a perfect CG. Maybe a little nose heavy, but right there is where you're gonna want it. And again, this is without the thrust vectoring in the back. So now I'm gonna quickly swap out this pack. So last, last view. Now when you, actually when you get your grip in, you're gonna have to remove the base plate because you have to uh, thread the, the rudder lead underneath. So I noticed when my gripping came that the battery strap was here, I just flipped the tray around um, actually when, when I started working on my CG to, uh, to go around. So you don't have to actually physically manipulate the strap. You could just flip the battery tray around because it's the same on both sides. So that's the 4000 and then the 5000 is the only other pack we flew it on. Guys, I don't think this type of model is going to benefit from any more weight than this. Um, this is a model that you're going to want it to be nice and light and agile. So when I press this in, I'm going to go, I'm going to push it back. We got the blue line right there. Let's see if she fits. And just get the, uh, the strap. Be great if maybe one day they made like lipos that also fit and they just like clipped into the tray. That would be amazing. We don't have to play with uh with that, but that's where my 5000 is. So I'm gonna put the canopy back on. Now I'm gonna put my fingers back, middle finger, onto the CG mark. So easy to feel the CG marks. I'm gonna raise up. Oh, I'm not on the CG markers properly. Little nose, but there you are. Balancing on a 5,000 Admiral pack. And the beauty about the Gripen too, because it is, you know, based on the wing shape, um, you guys are really gonna be able to play. I know a lot of guys are gonna wanna play with that FCG, and that's why CG is maiden like this. You know, that's what we recommend. Maiden with the with the proper CG, and then start playing with your CGs uh, before or afterwards. I know some people like to maiden with a nose heavy CG. You have more than enough space if you don't put the TV unit on to, uh, to definitely go nose heavier, you know, but you do have room to go backwards if you have to as well. So let's take that out. And that'll basically do it for the non thrust vector version of the uh, Yas 39 Gripen. So now I'm gonna replace this with the one behind me, which has a thrust vectoring unit and show you how the CG is a little different on that one. All right, so part three now is CGing with the thrust vectored version of the Gripen. You see, I have the thrust vectoring uh, unit on the back. Now, uh, the difference uh, between the two, I did measure, and I might have the pictures when I took the measurements, but the uh, the regular back half that comes with the Gripen is about 80 grams. And then the thrust vector unit with the two servos in there and the plastic bits, for the nozzle is about 162 grams. So you're adding about 80 grams, which isn't a lot, but when you move the weight all the way on the back or all the way on the edge of the fulcrum, a little weight goes a long way as far as your CG. So now I have the Admiral 4000 Pro that you just saw where its placement was without the TV unit. Now you're pushing it a lot farther forward to, uh, to meet the CG. Of the of the thrust vector unit. Now I will preface too. We do have uh, Chris Wolf. Thank you so much for sending them out. We do have the center burner on here. I didn't get a chance 
to uh, remove it. So there is a tad more weight, so you might not be um, so far forward, but I think it's gonna be very minimal um, as far as where you go. You're definitely gonna be forward. And again, this is just a guide. You're always gonna have to CG your own model because you might put a gyro, you might put other, other things in yours versus mine. So again, we're just showing you um, our recommendations and also where you might be a good guide to where you might be as far as placement. So that's the 4,000 in there. Let's put the canopy on. Let's show you the CG. So again, finding the molded markers on your on your gripping raising it up and bang we hit the cg right there and it almost wants to lean a little tail um than where it is but cg is right on the money with the 4000 and that's really the only pack he flew justin uh on the thrust vector unit once uh he had the thrust vectoring on i think he maybe threw a 5000 in there once but for the most part we were looking for you know less weight uh because we were trying to play in that high alpha and such but for posterity on the video and everything, let's put a 5,000 in here and let's get to that CG as well. And we, we did, I'm gonna put this upside down. Nope, I wanna put it right side up. There we go, I have my 4,000. And I'm pushing this as far forward as, uh, as possible, almost, but I also have a receiver and some wires bunched up, so there is definitely still some more room to go forward if you move these wiring and you move your, uh, your receiver more forward and such, you know, if you need it. I don't think you're going to need it. But I'll just plug it in for everything's sake. Get that going down. You see, everything fits beautifully. That's what I love. And now let's get our fingers on the markers here. And you can see, there we go. Now we've got CG on the 5,000. And it's a little more nose heavy. I could probably go back a little bit, but um, you know, again, it's something you're gonna have to feel and play with. But if you're right about there, you're gonna have success, whether you're on the thrust vector unit or the regular unit, which is now uh, in the other unit's place. So again, one more time to look inside. You can see how much far forward um, your battery's gonna be when you have the vector thrust unit on the back, because again, 80 grams, but placed all the way on the back of the of, of the uh, the nozzle of your jet is gonna make you need to push the battery much farther forward than let's say if you just added the weight on the CG, you wouldn't have to do as much. You know, that's why CG is so darn important when it comes to those first successful maiden flights. So there you have it, gentlemen. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Any questions you have, please feel free. Leave them in the comment section and check the description of this video because as we said, at this point, we have an assembly video. We have canard mixing on Spectrum. There's canard mixing on Futaba. We have a thrust vectoring uh, mixing page uh, done for Spectrum as well. Um, so much information on this jet, and this is what we want to do with all new releases going forward, is just get you guys as much information as you need to uh, either help you decide to be in on the Gripen or not. And if you're not, that's more than okay. We have tons of other models that you could jump on. And uh, either way, we thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button on your way out the door if you can. And uh, as always, guys, thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time at Motion RC.